Hey, it's Wes. Uh, just picked up this new 1968 Schwinn Stingray Apple Crate uh, off of uh, Amazon. It's one of 500 made. It's a limited production run. And it's meant to look just like the 1968 model. This, however, does not have a shifter. It's just a single speed with a coaster brake, which is what I like because I use a coaster brake for doing wheelies. And wheelies is why I bought this bike. Uh, it came in a really nice package, as you can see over here. This is the box it come in, which I think is kind of cool. So it comes with this little uh, gift pack, I guess you'd call it. Stingray limited edition, uh, certificate of authenticity, 244, 500. Big deal, I don't care about that. But yeah, they're only making 500 of these. Um, it's got a little pen there. Again, I'm not a collector, but uh, this stuff's kind of nice. They really did a nice job. It's got this little uh, booklet here that has uh, kind of an overview of the crate bikes from the early early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. So the next thing we're going to do is take this thing out and test it out and do some wheelies. One of the first things I did when I got this bike was change the crank. This is a 140 millimeter crank, and even back in the day, I used to always put longer cranks on these just because I liked the feel of it. Now it puts it closer to the ground when I'm pedaling, so I have to watch that. But this is a 165 millimeter crank off an old 10 speed. I also used the bearings and the whole bottom bracket from the older 10 speed because it's way better than what came on this bike new. The, this thing came out of the box, the crank barely spin. They had it tightened down, there was no grease on the bearings. I imagine, you know, all the Walmart bikes are kind of like that. Um, also put some different pedals on. Um, it has a pretty good replica of the original pedals, but I like the platform BMX style pedals best. One of the other things I might change on this bike is this uh, suspension sissy bar. Uh, the movement, kind of messes with me when I'm trying to do a wheelie because my butt is part of the thing, part of what I use to keep the wheelie balanced and this is working against me. It might be just a case of me trying to get, uh, having to get used to it, but I'd rather it be a solid sissy bar and plus this is probably not very well made and if I keep using it, I'll, I might wear it out. <laughs> so might as well put a stationary sissy bar on it and I may get a, a tall one a tall one that goes up your back. You can also use your back to help hold the bike up. One of the other things I might change on this bike is uh, the seat. I might use an, the older seat here um, that has more of a curve to it. And it would also keep me from wearing out this seat to keep it nice. Um, I had to add, this is a this is a nut that, does, that the bolt won't go all the way through. You can see right there. What would happen, I tightened it as down, far down as it would go and it was still twisting. So I had to add a couple washers in there to give the nut more room to tighten to clamp it down better. Another thing uh, that was uh, had a little problem with, but this uh, there's a washer that goes under this bolt. Well, the hole wasn't exactly in the right spot, so I had to kind of modify this washer and make it flat right there at the bottom so it would fit flush and not be cockeyed. So, that's the kind of thing you're going to deal with with Chinese made bikes. So this is this is one thing, this, the headset is not very good and this threaded nut here on top must be threaded crooked because it won't tighten down flat. Uh, see how the gap here is bigger than here? Uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with it because the headset's really not that important. So they did a nice job on this bike. I'm not an expert on crate bikes, but this thing looks pretty authentic and pretty nice.
And that's my review of the 2018 Swen Apple Crate. Oh, hey, a couple Mormon missionaries. Hey, guys.